be it resolved to approve an appropriation in the amount of two hundred five thousand forty five dollars for the purpose of acquiring by way of lease or purchase four point five Scott air packs bottles and masks as evidenced by one or more agreements for the acquisition of said self-contained breathing apparatus by lease or purchase or a combination thereof for a total price of one hundred ninety seven thousand one hundred eighty dollars plus interest at the rate of one point five five percent per annum payable in annual installments of forty one thousand nine dollars which is $3,417.41 a month over a period of five years. The first selectman is authorized in the name and on behalf of the town to execute and deliver any documents that may be required in conjunction and connection with said transactions. This will need town approval. Second. Motion is made and second. Any discussion? I just, how many of these packs will this purchase, Chief? 30. 30. Okay, thank 30. you. Further discussion or comments? And 30 spare bottles with it also. Uh, you worked that deal. Nice deal. Yeah. Thanks. Um, all those in favor indicates, indicate so by saying aye. 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 Anyone oppose or abstain? Motion carries. I think this is a good time. I think I speak on behalf of mm -hmm. the board and the entire town. We thank you for your efforts and hard work and uh, everything you do on behalf of all of us. Absolutely. Uh, most often in the middle of the night. Uh, when everybody's kind of quiet and sleeping. So thank you. You deserve to have the best equipment. So I'm uh, glad we're able to do We thank you for your support. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Uh, next item is Ms. Johnson, the budget. There's a, a list of transfers. Um, various transfers within departmental budgets have been necessary. Attached is the documentation for the transfers for a total amount of 196 thousand nine hundred and seventy four dollars and thirty six cents uh, you have the information uh, and description there and uh, miss Johnson is looking for ratification on this uh, to balance her books I move to ratify departmental transfers in the amount of one hundred ninety six thousand nine hundred seventy four dollars thirty six cents processed for fiscal year end June 30th 2014 and forward to the Board of Finance for their approval Second. Motion is made and second. Is there a discussion on this item? Yeah. I, is is this where we're, we have the stresses on telephone and electricity accounts? Anna? Is this where we have it? You know, um, <coughs> these are accounts that we just didn't have enough budgeted to, um, to meet um, our projected expenditures. Um, and... Um, then we had some uh, issues with some salary accounts, uh, fleet fuel that, you know, we took a big beating with all of the various snowstorms that we had. Um, now we I'm had talking about the, the telephone and electricity. How, how could we be stressed on telephone and electricity? Telephones are, they are what they are, and electricity well, is what with, it is. With telephones, one of the, one of the um, on, ongoing issues that we seem to have with our telephone accounts, most particularly are with the... Um, the cell phones that um, more and more employees tend to be using um, and using more options and uh, so that's something that we're working on trying to control to see how we can um, ha get some savings there and then in the electricity account um, the there just wasn't enough budgeted to pay for the whole year I believe at the uh, during the budget process last year there were some reductions made um, to the electric account is it true that we're only budgeting for 11 11 months and we're not doing 12? Uh, we are We are doing um, 12 months. We took a, a Since more, when? We took a more serious look at that. Um, yeah, in the 14, because that's, that's probably one of the issues is that you're always, we're always a month behind. But we do pay, we do pay in the month of July our June bills. So it's not, <laughs> it, you know, it's, you know, there's right. always a, a lag on it. But we, we did, did look at those electricity accounts um, more carefully in, in the New Year's budget. So hopefully we will not be faced with this at the end of next year in those particular accounts. I can hold you to that, right? I'm, I'm saying it. When, okay. When, when does the June bill come? They come, um, you know, I'm not sure when in the month, but there's always, you know, you, you get your bill after the month, it comes in the following month. I'm not sure exactly what our billing date is. Thank you. Further comments? 
Hearing none, all those in favor indicate so by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed or abstain? Motion carries. You may want to stay close, Anna. Um, the next item is a transfer of funds from Department 317 Public Works to Department 113 Building Maintenance. Our Public Works Director, Mr. Bagaw, is here. Uh, if you have any questions regarding uh, this, uh, there was some uh, custodian issues uh, regarding injury. Uh, and uh, again, as Mr. Wilson mentioned, the telephone electricity accounts. Uh, so this is proposed to take care of that, these transfers. Move to approve a transfer in the amount of $15,000 from account 401 317 100 311 regular payroll highway to the following accounts in the building maintenance department. $1,900 to 0101 113 100 311 custodians. $1,300 to 0101 113 100 314 overtime. $200 to 0101 113 4,500 to 0101 13 300 201 telephone and 7,100 to 0101 113 400 210 electricity. Forward to the Board of Finance for their approval. Second. Motion is made and second. Is there a discussion on this item? Uh, Mr. Wilson? 4,500 on telephone? How did that happen? How are we out that much? In all, in all seriousness, I mean, I, is it it's not landlines, right? So it's all cell cell phones. A lot of cell phones. You have to come up. We don't have the right friends and family plan. Uh, apparently, we don't have something's not going right. It, it, Rob, it's not all cell phones. It is some of the uh, landlines, but the cell phones. If you just take a look at all the packages of the, what the people have, and and you add it all up, that's what it cost, and we needed money to supplement that. So I thought we. we well, it's not you, weren't, you weren't here, so I, 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 I'm I, not going to get on to you, but well, we, we did this whole cell phone thing two times in the last five years. We went to new carriers. We did all of this stuff. We thought we had it down to the bare minimum. I mean, municipality, right, Paul? I mean, we had we, it down we to... We have been working. And, and I, I thought we were doing a phenomenal job with it, but to be 4,500 is, a, is it, a lot of money. It's not all cell phones. There's also, there's also the AT&T bills, and it's all the Internet service for this building. I mean, it's not cheap. When you think of phones, it's, I mean, just this building alone with all the Internet access. Of the okay, time. well, there, you just hit on something. So it's not Because I thought we were not doing eight. Uh, internet was a whole nother, whole nother line item. Budget? No. Yep, a no. whole nother budget, a whole nother deal. We weren't involved in any of that. That was coming out of something totally different, and that should not be coming out of you. Well, that, that's internet right. is not you. It should not be a telephone. Well, it should not be coming out of there. It was coming out of everything else. Correct, Anna? That's what we did, right? Where, where is it supposed to be coming out of? It comes out of uh, the downstairs internet, comes out of uh, IT. technology, IT. Well, look at All the, of that. Look at the IT lines. There's no place to have. There's no telephone line in IT. It shouldn't be telephone. It should be IT. It should be technology. I'm just saying, if you go look at the line items, and, and again, and I do appreciate, I, I'm dealing you know, with things I, half, half, half into the year. There's no line in the IT budget for phone, for internet. There's there's service. What are we missing here? What am I missing? Hmm. That's what we did. We put it all in one place because that's why we didn't want you to deal with this. It was, should have been all. You shouldn't be dealing with telephone bills or anything like that. But especially well, IT, because that's why we put it all into that one place. Well, I'm dealing with Am I this. wrong? I have what? IT. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't know. Makes me nuts. But anyway, Anna, any suggestions? Isn't it all in one place? In Department 113. Building maintenance. The IT budget is not very much. There's, there's the maintenance of the systems. There's copier maintenance. That's I mean, if you look at the lines, there's not there's no line in there for telephones or internet. And internet access for the town is is not cheap. And that's right now it presides in building maintenance. I, I, and, and getting back to yes, uh, Anna, it is it is covered in next year's budget. All the amounts are covered in next year's budget. So we shouldn't be having to go through this again. I think what you're thinking of is that we moved it to the building maintenance from all of this. We separated it out. And 
when Julie was here, she did a lot of the work on Verizon, and we did all yeah, kinds yeah, of changes yeah, on yeah. there. We have her still overseeing that a little bit from where she sits now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah. the cell phones have been expanding in use and time, and uh, you know, as with the rest of the world, the town has suffered that, uh, or experienced, I shouldn't say suffered, experienced that same expansion. So we're we're working on monitoring, you know. Don't get me wrong. It has nothing to do with you or anything else. I no, I just thought we had it cold down to us. Images, text, we're, we're, we're controlling that to the best we can. But this is a combination of all of that. And the mm -hmm. building maintenance uh, uh, line items in the last year's budget was reduced, I believe, a little bit, which was electricity. I thought we did, they yeah. Big, mm -hmm. Not us. It wasn't our board. No, no, it, it wasn't was our board. board that did no, it. So, no. Yeah. So uh, and that's what's happening. So we had to come. Okay. So we have the money on the other side of the budget through some uh, creative budgeting from Mr. Bagaz who came in and Joanna. So they were getting done. But he said, and you know, he assures me that uh, this is going to be okay for next year now that it's put in place and we've convinced the Board of Finance that, that this is the real deal. I mean, what, what we had, and I, I believe that totally, that we, we went through those numbers and we thought we had a good number. Yeah. All right. The, the key thing, Rob, is we're not asking for more money. When I noticed that this was happening and worked with Anna, we, I tried to allocate money on the highway side, on the public works side, to cover it so we're not coming back and ask for a contingency. We, it's, it's, it's covered, and next year, going to next year's budget, this is addressed. It's covered. Yeah, and, and I, what, what I'm saying to you, Joe, is, is that next year you come back and you make sure that they understand that this was a hard number. And this is the real world that you're you're okay. dealing with, I'm and well, and I'm well aware of that. Yep, and and I will back you 100 percent because that's that's part of what we, what we tried to do was is is give the real numbers and let it go at that, and not and not say it's going to be something else. And now here we are back doing exactly what we're doing. So we spent a lot of time the numbers that are into next year's budget or into this. We're in this current fiscal year should be, be sufficient to cover all the uh, building maintenance phones and all those lines. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And I, I don't, sorry I was uh, a little over the top, but I, it, just, it just makes me nuts that I thought we had the, all of this, a lot of this covered. And uh, right. I'm sorry we didn't. Is there a motion on the floor? Yes, there is. All those, or any further conversation? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Somebody saying aye? Okay. So, Tracy, you just handed me this Bay Rulers resolution. Did I not make this resolution before? Um, I that? apologize. I don't, I think we went right into the grant of easement, and I do not remember a resolution uh, sending this to planning for 8 24 review. No, did and I no. did ask no, Karen, and that. she confirmed okay. that we didn't, you did not. We did not. So, why don't we just, uh, Finish that item, uh, which is 2B, uh, which needs to be referred to planning. Thank let's, you for catching Let's that. clean that out. So we're back to 2B. Be it resolved to forward to the proposed to forward the proposed purchase of the property located on Assessor's Map 22, Lot 1, at a bunny, a budding Quarry Dock Road to the East Line Planning Commission for its report and recommendation in accordance with the Connecticut General Statute Section 8-24. Second. Made. Ms. Hardy seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you very much. I'll have a copy of this here. Okay. All this, I think, is for you down the line there. Thank you very much again, Trace. Uh, next item is number three, emergency management to Nyanic and Flanders Fire. This is the part-time account that was uh, uh, short in both departments, and then uh, I think this was the issue about uh, this is the one where the where the full time guys got hurt a little bit. And we they were out. We had to cover. Is that this? No. And we had extra money in dispatch because we didn't hire the other one pending what was going on with the dispatch situation. So. Yeah. Um, we. You know what? Um, I apologize. We did under budget the two um, the full time fire fi fighters um, budget accounts, and as Mr. Tamika indicated. Um, we, we had excess funds in the um, uh, dispatcher's account 
and since it's all related to public safety, identified those funds to um, cover the shortfalls in the, in the fire departments. So I'll move to approve a transfer in the amount of $14,969 as noted below for fiscal year ended June 30th, 2014 to Flanders and Niantic Fire Department salary accounts from the emergency management and unemployed compensation accounts and forward to the Board of Finance for their approval. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Is there a discussion on this item? Hearing none, all those in favor indicate so by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed or abstain? Motion carries. Um, I'm going to stay right there for Los Um This is the annual entitlement from the state uh, that we get. Our current balance is 18708 uh, and we usually carry these over uh, to the next year to add to the projects that we have ongoing. Uh, and this, as you see, it says that the projects completed during the 2013 14 fiscal year include installation of air conditioning in the field service mechanic bay, handicap access entrance at the police department, security improvements at middle school, Flanders school and high school, and paving the parking lot at Niantic Station 2. Uh, those were all under low sub funds. So we're just acting to carry this 18,000 over 708 so that we can use it for projects coming up uh, in this fiscal year that we just entered yesterday or the day before, whatever. Today's date is? Today's July 2nd. So Today's the 2nd. So yesterday. Okay. I'll move to ratify departmental transfers the amount of. No, what? it's the wrong way. Look yeah, on why this. am I doing Here, Mark. Use that one. Yeah, you, you, could, you could do it. Okay. You want me to? Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at something. Yeah, it's the wrong way. Move to approve the carryover of the remaining balance of $18,708.79 in account 0130317500100 low zip and corresponding revenue account. 0103-30320 from the 2013-2014 budget to the 2014-2015 fiscal year and forward, forward to the Board of Finance for their approval. Second. Made seconded. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor indicate so by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. And the next item is the real uh, allocation of funds for the stream uh, flow gauge uh, on Latimer Brook. Uh, this was an item that uh, should have been in the capital improvement plan. It was not. So uh, in speaking with the folks at the, uh, on the commission, um, we decided this was a good uh, purchase. And uh, this is supporting data collection program during the upcoming fiscal year. And so there's some money from the, um, the commission to move into that. Um, we, Kevin brought in some copies of the minutes of the uh, East Lime Harbor Management Shellfish Commission. And I will, just for the record, I put on your, on the table in front of you an email from Barbara Johnston, uh, who asked me to present this to you under this item. Um, she knew that the Board of Selectmen meeting is uh, tonight, and she would like us to table this amount, this amount of money is being proposed. Um, she talks about not finding anything on file in the town clerk's office. Um, actually, this is addressed to Mr. Siri, uh, but she did ask me to give it to everybody on the board. Um, I also note that Mr. Dinsmore is in the audience this evening. If we have any questions from Harbor Management Shellfish. Yes, he's the chair. Um, so. Take a minute to read that. Where does uh, where does she come up with the eleven thousand one fifty five? If the motion I'm about to read says forty five hundred dollars, you the, the the money that we're appropriating for this. Yeah, um, the the total the the, um, the town's responsibility is eight thousand five hundred dollars. Um, within the um, harbor management budget, they identified a portion of it, and the remaining portion that's needed for us to have the 8,500 um, is what um, what this motion is for. So the 11,155, uh, we don't know where that number came from. I don't think that is the, the U.S. Ge geological folks are providing some dollars as well. Yes, they're, they're, the agreement is that they will provide 6500 and the town of East Lyme 8500 Yeah, okay. So 
don't answer your question, we don't know. Uh, Maybe yeah. Mr. Dinsmore knows. Sorry. Maybe you know where the numbers came from. from um, this. No, this was discussed at our last meeting. Mm -hmm. and, um, Kevin, did you give everyone a copy of these minutes? Kevin has yes. yes. Oh, Kevin. He, he does have the minutes. We do have the minutes yes. here. Did he sleep? Mm -hmm. He had to step up for a second. So, oh. sir? Yeah. Okay. So, yes. there you have it. Thank oh, you very much. I'll put a motion on the table so we, we then can discuss it properly. Okay. You did? Thanks. I will um, move to authorize the reallocation of $4,535 in the 2013 14 budget. Account 0177247043 CIP for the stream gauging project on Latimer Brook in coordination with the U.S. Department of Interior and forward to the Board of Finance for their approval. Second. Made seconded. Any discussion on this item? Um, just Ms. Johnson does throw out that other towns are supposed to be contributing toward this or should be. Uh, this is directly. Uh, we have this to gauge those streams, the Latimer Brook stream specifically for our water department, correct? Uh, well, it's for a number of resources that, that we use. Um, so I, I don't, the other three towns, I think she's saying that according to the minutes, and I wasn't at the, yeah, at yeah. the uh, meeting, and Mr. Siri had to step out for the, he was at the meeting, but. Uh, the Niantic River Watershed is a joint uh, effort by uh, four towns, and I think she was trying to get that done there. I don't know that this would apply quite to that. It looks like we're mm -hmm. apples and oranges a little bit. Okay, this is from Mr. Landers to uh, Ms. Johnson. We had met Mr. Landers, Ms. Johnson, Mr. Morris, and I with the geological folks um, and he uh, indicates that I'm hoping to be on vacation this week in case I can't make the meeting. Uh, here's the importance of reestablishing a Latimer Brook stream cage. This was cut by the, by the geological department, so the, the responsibility shifted to us. Used by the emergency management folks to evacuate residents low-lying areas along <coughs> Latimer Brook during floods. Used by state, federal, academic, local watershed stakeholders to examine nutrient bacterial loading from Latimer Brook to the Niantic River. Helps with our understanding of how pollution loads in the watershed impact clams, scallops, eelgrass, and fish resources in Ionic River, and provides the necessary loading data to implement pollution reduction management measures in the watershed to improve water quality, shell fishing, and recreation, which is swimming and boating on the Ionic River. And that's uh, his view of the importance of this item. Okay. Further comments? I just wonder if Mr. Dinsmore might like to comment. Mr. Dinsmore, would you like to comment on this? If so, I'd ask you to come up. If not, um, basically everything that Mr. Landers said uh, pretty much summarizes um, the use of the stream gauge. It's um, it's a very valuable tool. Um, the um, Mr. Landers is the uh, is a member of the Niantic um, River Watershed. Um, Commission, and um, as you said, it does comprise of four towns. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the uh, the cost sharing may be something to address at a future time, but right now we um, we had uh, additional funds in our budget, and we just wanted to get this uh, system back online. It's been um, out of operation for a while, and there's been a couple of instances lately um, where it may have come in um, handy particularly with the runoff from um, up Cranberry Meadow. Um, we might have mm -hmm. detected that earlier. Um, and the uh, nutrient loading in um, the Niantic River um, and our populations of recreational shellfish um, can be um, helped uh, with this gauge. Thank you. Steve, if you could just tell us your address for Karen so oh, she sorry. doesn't have to look it up. Steve Dinsmore, 57 Chesterfield Road. Uh, I'd like to ask Mr. Yes, Ms. Hyders, please. Uh, I noted in the minutes that Mr. Murin uh, also felt that this was a lot of money and felt that other towns should contribute. Uh, 
-hmm. but then he subsequently voted for it? He did. Okay. Is there any additional information or changed his mind? No, um, I think he was just supportive of getting getting it back online. And, it, you know, part of the discussion was that, you know, down the line we may look at uh, cost sharing with other municipalities. But for right now, um, we just wanted to get the system running again. Uh, I guess USGS turned it off um, at least a year ago. It might have been longer. And what was their reason for that? Um, funding. Oh, the, mm. their, their budgets were cut. Right. Okay. okay, thank you very much. You remember that. After that happened, your taxes went down. <laughs> remember that? Any further comments? No. Hearing none, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Next item is the DUI carryover funds. This is the enforcement hmm. program uh, that we operate every year. and. We need to carry over uh, the grant funds of $12,400 um, into this fiscal year. I move to approve carryover of grants, Thanks, grant funds of $12,400 in the 2014 Comprehensive DUI Enforcement Program, Revenue Account 0104-100-409, in Budget Account 0125-216-100-519, to meet payrolls in the 2014-15 fiscal year, for this purpose, and forward to the Board of Finance for their approval. Motion is made. Is there a second? Second. Second. Mr. Wilson. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate so by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. Uh, the next item is the approval of the IAFF agreement. Uh, this is um, a uh, contract with the local firefighters. Uh, 37, uh, 3377, um, and uh, the agreement that we have come to, uh, I put a copy of the contract in front of you, uh, is a one-year agreement uh, for a raise of 3%, and the uh, cost share item um, on the health care remains the same at 15%, um, and those are, the, those are really the changes. We, we are adding an MOU on the back exhibit, I'm sorry, Appendix D, uh, which will be signed and just in the event that we have multiple members of the, of the local uh, choose to retire. At the same time, uh, we're able to uh, space out the payments of, of anything. So they agreed to do that uh, for us on that. So um, that's what we have uh, in front of you. And they have indicated that they have accepted their members have accepted the successor agreement. Now it's up to the uh, Board of uh, Selectmen uh, to talk about that. The rest of the items are the same in the contract. So I uh, make a motion to approve the IAFF agreement. As negotiated. As negotiated. I see no other motion prepared. So. Second. Motion made. Mr. Wilson? Uh, uh, they went to Aetna also? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Other comments? And this, you know, we, we negotiate this. There's, there's no town attorney in this other than the, uh, the, the drawing up of the agreement at the end. Uh, he, he does all that because types faster than Darlene. Uh, any further discussions? Hearing none, all those in favor indicate so by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, next item, non-union COLA. Uh, this is um, uh, an item that uh, Mr. Nickerson, as Deputy First Selectman, Ms. Hardy, worked with the department head.